this edition of NFC Tags 101 how to videos. I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, NFC tag to toggle your ringtones and notification tones um, using the app Llama, which is probably one of the most uh, full featured NFC apps available on Google Play. It does more than just NFC stuff, but that's what we're demonstrating today. So basically, you're going to start by clicking Profiles. Now, Profiles in Llama are sound profiles. You can see that, morning sound, loud, night sound, normal. And uh, I'm going to show you the two that I've already set up, Private Tones and Public Tones. If you are starting from scratch, you click this plus button, give your profile a name, and do what we're about to do, which is go and set things up. So I'm going to long press and click Edit Profile. You can see I gave it the name, and then I turned off all these things, but you could, if you wanted them to be on, you could change the ringtone volume, notification volume, all that stuff along with this. But I just want this to change the ringtone, because I want uh, maybe a more tame ringtone when I'm uh, at work, or at church, or I don't know, someplace like that. But I want to use the one I want to use when I'm at home or when I'm hanging out with my friends. So uh, I have change ringtone selected. And so I'm going to select the ringtone. I just forgot what, uh, what profile this is. This is private. So this is the one for when I'm with my friends and uh, or at home. So I'm going to hit ringtones. And I'm going to pick the ringtone I want. And I'm going to pick uh, beat it. And then uh, notification tones, I'm going to select that. And for that, I'm going to select uh, Dirty Diana. That's going to be my notification tone. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, now you could change volume levels and things like that with this as well. But with these particular profiles, I'm just going to change my uh, ringtone and notification tone. And then you would create another one. You name it whatever you want to name it, but I'm going to name it Public Tones. And uh, I'm going to press that and edit that profile. And uh, you can see, name Public Tones. And again, I, I don't have change the volumes checked because I'm not looking to change volumes, just the tones. So for uh, ring tone for this, I'm going to select something that's a little bit more subdued. Um, let's see, let's go with... Dust in the wind. It's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, mature or adultish. And then uh, notification tones. That's uh, for that one. I like what I got it on, which is beep once. So good for work, very subdued. And uh, so that's that. So now I have those two sound profiles set up to change one sets ringtone and notification to one thing, one sets something else. Now I just need to create an uh, NFC tag event that will do that. So here's how we're going to do that. Um, we're going to start by uh, uh, creating uh, the first event and we're going to add a condition or a trigger and the first one is going to be an NFC tag. So I'm going to use an NFC tag for this. So let's go uh, NFC tag detected. And we're going to say format a new tag for Llama. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, NFC tag right here. So we're going to tap that to the back. So select so successfully formatted tag. Use this tag. And we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it the Tone Changer. And I spelled Changer wrong, but I don't care right now. It's fine. So we're going to move that out of the way. So we have the NFC tag Tone Changer is detected. Uh, and now we could stop there. But if we stop there, we can't have two separate profiles. How do you have a toggle profile go back and forth? Well, in Llama, you do that with variables. So we're going to go to Llama variable, and we're going to give the variable a name. We're going to say uh, 
sound. So that's my variable name. And if the current value is public. So we have two conditions. One is that the NFC tag is detected and two is that the variable sound has a value of public. So if the current is public then add actions. First action we're going to do is we're going to switch the uh, profile and now we're going to choose the profile, one of the profiles we just created. We'll choose private tones. Okay. And then we're also going to change the llama variable. And if you press the arrow, then if the variable is already set up, it should show up. Or not. Maybe that's considered separate from uh, condition. So variable name sound and we're going to change it to private. So if you tap the tag and the current variable of sound is public it will change profile to private tones and change the variable to private. There we go. So that's set up. Now we're going to do a, uh, another one very similar to that. We're going to click plus. We're going to click add condition and we're going to have the first condition is the same. NFC tag detected, tone changer, which isn't a word. And then we're going to add a second condition and this is going to be the llama variable. And because we've used sound before, it's there. And we're going to change the variable to think private. I've forgotten where we were, so we'll add action and then we'll choose the right profile. So because I forgot what I did before, I may have to go back, but. No problem profile and we're going to go to public. Okay, I'm going to go back here just to see where I'm at with this. So when NFC tag changer is detected and the sound has a value of public, change the profile to private and set llama variable sound to private. When the NFC tag tone changer is detected and sound has a value of private, change the profile to public. Okay, so that's correct. And then we also want to change the variable to public. So add action. Mama variable. Variable name. Sound. And change to public. Alright, so going back, you can kind of see what's happening here. These two are both triggered by tapping the uh, NFC tag that we set up and named Tone Changer with an M. And, but one will be triggered if the uh, uh, variable sound is set to private. The other one will be triggered if the sound variable is set to, uh, set to public and then it'll switch the variable. So it'll go back and forth. Now to start any of these initiating, remember in Llama, anytime something is true, it's green. And uh, right now, sound doesn't have a value of public or private because neither one of these have been run. So to do that, you're going to open one of these and you're going to say test actions. And by testing the action, you've now ran it. So now you can see that it has the sound, has a value of public. So when I tap that tag, it's going to change the tones. So I'm going to test this out by calling my phone just so you can see that it works. Let's go here and uh, you'll see what the tone has been set to. And it's going to be set to based on what I just, uh, the test action I just did. So 
as you can see, right now it's dust in the wind. So here's our NFC tag. I'm going to tap that tag. And you can see it switched. This turned red and this turned green because the sound uh, uh, variable value has changed. So now when I call my phone, it'll be the very loud and obnoxious. There you go. And if you tap it again, then you're going to switch back to the next one, back to the original one. So, you can see that uh, it does work and it does toggle the profiles and uh, it toggles the notification. Obviously you didn't hear the notification tone, you're only hearing the ringtone, but you can assume that it works for both. And uh, once you have it set up, you're good to go and you can just quickly toggle. And like I said, you could also add volume levels into that toggle as well. Um, but this is specifically showing you just how to toggle your uh, uh, ringtones using... Uh, NFC tags and llama.